Good evening and welcome once again to the YHC Soccer and Lacrosse Field on the campus of Young Harris College. Again, for Young Harris College Soccer, Tommy Jenkins and John Krieger with you on the call today. We have endured about a, looks like by the time we get started, about a 97, 98 minute lightning strike, but We've got some blue skies, and hopefully the storms is out of here. John, getting ready to play some soccer. Yes, sir, we are. Uh, oddly enough, the rain has finally begun to fall. This is the first time it's done so all afternoon during this delay. But uh, it, should, it should be good for uh, Young Harris. Most of these lads are used to playing in wet weather. Young Harris coming into this one 3-0. and oh, Their opponent, Lincoln Memorial, out of Harrogate, Tennessee up in the beautiful eastern Tennessee hills. Young Harris 3-0 with victories over Belmont Abbey. Another lightning-induced game, 3-0, 5-0 over Southern Wesley, 4-0 over Tusculum. And, John, one thing we talked about in that first game that we didn't get the second half in, but we did win 3-0. Lost a lot of people defensively. Josh Poole uh, uh, graduated. Sam Jones transferred to UNC. Uh, had some position changes. But we thrown three shutouts. Yes, sir, we have. It's been good, solid defensive play all along since, the, since uh, they've, they've reformed their back line and the defensive set. Glacius, you know, he's tied for the nation lead right now in shutouts and goals allowed. And so, you know, they've been able to shore up where they thought they were going to have some holes. Putting up some goals as well. Mikey Rowe, a uh, senior out of Wexford, Ireland. Uh, he is fifth nationally, nationally in goals scored and second in assists. So uh, our lad's playing some good soccer right now. Oh, and it looks like we're going to have action already to start with. Yeah, Alex Jack got hit from behind, went down hard. Young Harris get, earns the penalty kick right away. And Young Harris uh, really been a quick strike offense early in the year, correct? Yes, sir, so far we have been. Uh, last game, uh, Mikey Rowe put one in roughly three and a half minutes into the game against Tusculum. That started Young Harris on the, on the trend to scoring again. And after the lightning delay, uh, which the score was 0-0, zero to zero, uh, Young Harris scored two goals quickly in about a five-minute span there likewise. Yes, sir. I believe that again. I believe that was Mikey Rowe leading the way, and then Matty Adon took a second one, put it in just before the half. Carlos Gomez also nationally ranked. So here it comes. This is going to be the aforementioned Mikey Rowe. And, and there it good. is. Hits the left side of the net, gets it by the goalie so quickly. John, we're not even – are we a minute into this thing? And Mikey Rowe done in the, already in the scoring column, his sixth goal of the year. Sixth goal of the year, he took take a very short run up, on just about two steps, and then neatly slides it just inside the left post. Young Harris ranked fifth nationally, started 11th, uh, still not picked to win their conference. Lander, who is 2-0 and right now in non-conference play. Uh, but the opponent that we're playing, Lincoln Memorial, this has uh, been a team that's given us some trouble. It is. Lincoln Memorial is actually going for their third in a row over Young Harris. Uh, hopefully that's not going to happen. Uh, Mikey's already done what he done some activity to help us try and secure, secure a win today. But, yes, uh, the last last couple of years, Lincoln Memorial has, has, has had our number. Now, I talked to Seba Andreasen, who's not going to look like going to get in today, but told me he said expect a physical matchup, that these guys are just very physical, uh, just really like to get into your grill. So that's what can we can expect today. I believe we can. That's the way they've played the last couple of years. I mean, looking up and down their roster, the, you know, half of their roster is coming out of Brazil, and they're not Brazilians are not typically known for their physical play. But I think they've been in the States long enough that they've learned how to, how to be physical. Young Harris with the lead. 1-0 on the Mikey Rowe penalty kick. Crowd is, I think by the time we're over, will be a pretty good crowd. They come, they go, they come, they go, because you just never know what the weather's going to do. Very true. I think uh, I think we might be able to get the rest of this match in. Unfortunately, I'm only going to be able to stay for the first half with you tonight, Tommy. Good hustle play there. Alex Jack trying to get the steal. Can't get it. It will be rail splitter ball. Rail splitters in blue with blue numerals, white trim. Jack put the ball out for Lincoln throw. Alex Iglesias, the junior out of Al 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 Alcanto, Spain. 
again in goal for Young Harris, and he is been solid, obviously, yet a goal to be scored against these young, uh, the Mountain Lions, our lads. Young Harris giving away a free kick in a dangerous position right now. Alex only calling for a two-man wall. And this will be Felipe de Sousa and Danilo, Danilo Seglio, freshman out of Brazil. And as you mentioned, very heavy laden with Brazilian players. Looks to be a left-footed in-swinger. Header goes off to the right side. Good job defensively by... McCauley, King. Young Harris ends up giving up a corner kick. And in the corner again, this will be D'Souza. Header goes over wide right. And it will be Young Harris ball. 1-0 quickly into this one. Young Harris with Mikey Rose, six game, six goal of the year. Iglesias kicks out. And you can see the chippiness already, right? Yes, sir, you can. Hey, number 10, back up. Even with that six goal, Mikey still won behind the nation's leader in goal scoring thus far into the season. All that can quickly change. You can yeah. easily get a second one. And Young Harris calling for a foul. Meddy had... Had his feet taken out from under him. Referee saw it differently. Yeah, went down hard. He's, by the way, got a new look. Don't have the blonde tonight. Correct. Quick outlet to Jack. And again, Sebatovic said, expect this just to be a very physical, in-your-face type game. And you can see it. Rain coming down hard, John. It sounds like it. But no lightning. We got blue skies. Be raining this time tomorrow, by the way, this time. Well, not this time tomorrow, but uh, our women will be in action tomorrow against West Florida, the number five team in the nation. They're coming off of a win Wednesday night against Lincoln Memorial. Bailey Roche with a couple of goals. And then uh, you guys' JV team going to be in action at 2.30 right after that, correct? Yes, sir, we will be. And tell us a little about the JV. you got a pretty good schedule, full schedule this year, right? Uh, we do have a full schedule. Most of the games, fortunately, will be at home. Uh, Happy about that. It's, sure. You know, never never fun to travel all the time. But, no, it looks to be a, a, a quality squad. We're getting better, working with each other. Now, is that you and Coach Gray and Coach Bell or one of the two? Yes, sir, that would be all three of us. All three uh, of you? Coach Gray would be leading the squad, and then Bell and I are, are, are assistants to him. Mikey puts the ball a little behind Alex there. Real splitter ball. Nice footwork, Danny Fisher. Neither team able to gain a good foothold on possession at the moment. Mack comes out with the ball for the Mountain Lions. Ever dangerous with the long ball over the top. You just never know when he's going to play that. He's very gifted with that foot. Right foot, he's able to pinpoint a pass 70, 80 yards long. Senior out of Narborough, England. 
180, big guy. He is. He spends a lot of time in the gym to stay strong as well. And this is a Don shot on goal is going to be wide left. Not a bad chance. Not bad at all. He really had a good look at it. Good energy coming down the field that time. Young Harris on the right side. And you got to make the keeper work for it. And, and in a wet condition like this, if he can keep it low and have a keeper spill it, anything can happen. And, you know, we talk about this a lot. It has been crazy hot here the past couple of weeks. But after this little front has moved through, amazing how much cooler it is down on the field right now. Oh, very much. Probably 15 degrees than, than what it was, what the yeah. original kickoff would have been. And our lads really like this. They like this kind of weather. They most definitely do. I think the only thing they like better than this is this at night. Right. Fisher immediately put under pressure, gives the ball away. John, a couple of guys that have really, on the defensive end and in the midfielder position, uh, Alex Schwinn, freshman out of Munich, Germany, and Kevin Kofik, a junior out of Lorient, France. They've really looked good for young Harris just coming in in their first season, just getting their feet wet in the system, in the culture. Uh, at the school, the academics, and uh, they really look good for us. They have their fitting in quite well, uh, both the system here on the field and, and off the field as well with the, with the uh, institution here. A couple times weren't, we weren't sure we were going to have Mr. Quifique this year. He uh, had a little trouble getting cleared early from the NCAA, but it did happen right before the first actual game of the season. I know that was a big relief to Coach McKeever and Coach Gray. That allowed them to uh, return Macaulay King back to his natural position at holding midfield. Right. And this is Kafik with the ball. Middle of the field comes back left side to Fisher. Danny brings it across. Danny draws a foul. And something we talked about in the first game that somebody that has, you know, Young Harris was really expecting big things has been uh, uh, Val Feeney. And Val hit a shot you were telling me that was insane. No, he hit a beautiful stroke against uh, Tusculum. It was, it was fairly early in the second half. He was probably, oh, I would say about 25, 28 yards out, his back almost to the goal. He just curls around and puts it over the keeper's shoulder. All he can do is look as it, and turn around as it falls into the side netting. We got a young Harris player down. That's Mikey Rowe. Went down hard, down just out of bounds, but he gets up and he'll walk it off. Mikey's a tough player. He'll take a lot of knocks throughout the course of a game, but he keeps going. with the header. No, with Val, he's a, he's a very calm player. You, you rarely see him panic on the ball. Good settling force in, in, in midfield for the Mountain Lions. Nice footwork by Hadan, gets it back to Fisher. Fisher and King trying to work. Finds Gomez. Mike, you're gonna get a look maybe. Does the dummy run for, for Mikey. Back heel. Lincoln does a good job of covering the back heel. Lincoln eventually winning the throw in. And you talking about the roster, this, uh, of course, Young Harris is made up mostly predominantly, big time predominantly, European. Very much Lincoln Memorial, South America. Mostly Brazil, some Colombia, a few European players. But they have got a heavy, heavy, heavy Brazilian influence. They do, very much so. I'm waiting for them to, to play a prototypical Brazil style with a lot of fancy footwork and, and continual ball movement. But uh, they just don't necessarily do it that way. They, 
they do a they do a good job of staying disciplined in their in their defensive roles at, at least thus far this match and from what I saw the last couple of years they do right they've got some good coach in there he does a good job of of instilling the discipline that would be uh coach Elio Diana for Lincoln Memorial trying to run it down in the corner is Alex Spend but it goes out of bounds and it's going to be rail splitter ball Now, if feeble memory serves me right, or is Lincoln Memorial looking to make the move up to Division One? I am unsure about that, Tommy. I wish I could tell you some more on that, but I'm, it is a university, so that means they offer, you know, postgraduate degrees. So they may be looking to jump to to Division One. In a beautiful area, beautiful country up there. Have it a is very to much. Go through there and just a beautiful, beautiful campus in a beautiful area. Quafik running the ball down. Good hustle play. Shows some great closing speed. He's def he definitely had to. The Lincoln Memorial player had some great speed as well. Hey, sweet John, look around you. Hey, in the middle, back up, man, come in. John, have you had a chance to get a good look at our women's team yet? Is they're going to be have a tough one with West Florida tomorrow, number five in the nation. New coach, new system, some new players, but still some of the old standards like Lucero Rabio and Bailey Roche that we've had in the past. I have not seen them very much, Tommy. I will uh, hopefully get to see the full game tomorrow, or well, most of the game. i uh, probably have to leave part of the way through the second half just to help my JV squad get ready for their match right. immediately following the ladies tomorrow. So if we if everything goes to plan, John's probably going to have the first half, and then hopefully I'll be able to join him in the second half tomorrow. That's the plan, but we do plan to have that game here on the Mountain Line Sports Network, powered by Ridgeline TV. Yes, sir. The third member of the crew, John Moon, will definitely be here. He's always here. He's the rock. He is our rock. Out of the corner and a goal. Wet turf ball skidded through. Young Harris did not cover properly defensively. Lincoln Memorial able to squeeze that one into the back of the net. It's the first goal given up by Iglesias and the, and the Mountain Lions this season. That regular season play. Yeah, it comes about 15 minutes, it looks like, into game four. So we are tied at one. Did you get a make on the number? I did not. He turned before I could see it. Young Harris stringing some passes together. Thomas, Thomas in. Thomas looking inside the row. Young Harris earns a corner kick. So 1-1 one, one your score. Young Harris gives up its first goal of the year. Ball came out of the left corner and is John said, just a, a wet field by effect. Lincoln Memorial number 16, Mateo Buffalo. That is the first of the season. Number 16, Mateo Buffalo. At a time of 15, 10, his first of the season. Buffalo, a graduate student out of Fano, Italy. Assist, assist came from Felipe de Sousa, Jr. out of Sao, Sao Bernardo do Campo, Brazil. Danny Fisher to take the corner. Plays it short to Macaulay King. Plays it back to Fisher, is knocked out by Lincoln. Young Harris with the throw in. 
And that came at 15-10 into the first half. Young Harris with its first goal. Penalty kick from Mikey Rowe. Collie King throw into the penalty area. Put back out by Lincoln. Young Harris is looking to utilize McCauley's long throws this year. Thomas going to run the ball down and get it back to Spin, who will bring it back to Jack on the left side. And he'll just give it back to Iglesias. Young Harris looked to settle the ball, maintain possession, try and build play out of the back. Balfini looking across. Finds Jack over here on the side. Finds King give and go. Shot Jack coming with a left footed drive. Lincoln does a good job of clearing their line. Young Harris long pass down to Thomas on the right side. Collie King with that dime right on Thomas's foot and on the run. Isn't that amazing? It is. That's, it right that's special. How much distance was that? And that was on the fly too. I mean, James was in a dead sprint on the right side. Oh, that was on the fly. That was that was easily 50 yards. Sure. I've watched him do it from about 80 as well. This is Fisher from the corner, comes across. Left-footed in swinger. Real physical play. Jack not happy with the call. I, I think he's got good reason to be. He was fouled initially. Yeah. The referee didn't give it. And then what was even less of, of a contact, the referee does blow the whistle upon. That is part of the game, though. You just got to put it behind you and keep playing, keep Tommy. Keep going. In any sport, that's the one thing that you cannot control. You have no say over it. That and the weather. That and the weather. Well, I remember one time the late, great Herb Green, athletic director down at Columbus State for many years, a Alabama Hall of Fame basket, high school basketball player, said, Two people that are accountable to no one, referees and weathermen. Correct. Young Harris fortunate there. They give the ball away in a dangerous position. Able to, able to win it back. Lincoln Memorial had an opportunity. I'm not sure that the man that intercepted the ball from Iglesias realized how far out he was. He could have went for frame on that and quite possibly could have beaten him. Working around looking to find Mac on the left side. Mac will bring it down the left sideline. Now cross back into the middle. Comes across the field to spend. Find JT there, James Thomas. Spin looking to find Carlos Gomez in the middle. Unable to connect on that pass. Peak was a good defensive play. Yeah, it really was. He was on dangerous ground there if it gets by him, right? He most definitely was. He was He was hung out to dry if the ball gets past him. Yeah. 
And again, Young Harris will use McCauley to make that long throw in from the left side. And he'll just bring it in to Jack and right back to McCauley. Yeah, I know, I know Young Harris is wanting to utilize the long throw of McCauley. But right now, the player that they need the most for that utilization is sitting on the bench with uh, Saba Andreas. And right. His height is, is huge inside that box for these long throws. It's also the same reason that they're bringing Quifik up from the back for him. He's roughly the same height as Saba, maybe just an inch shorter. Yeah, Saba 6'3", and his wingspan probably makes him 6'8". Young Harris with the flick. Oh, got a good look. Lincoln able to clear the line. Young Harris looking to put high press on. Lincoln does a good job of handling it thus far. Lincoln unable to play out of the back like they originally wanted to, had to settle for the long ball, but it has worked out for them. They're maintaining possession. Takes a shot, goes wide right at goal. Interesting statistic on Young Harris. Young Harris has outshot our opponents. 51 to 14 coming into this game. That's incredible. We're good at putting the ball on frame. Mikey Rowe winning the foul. Play short to McCauley. Finds Mikey, back to McCauley. Be Alex Jack, even though we couldn't see him underneath the roof. Right. Look to change the attack, switch to the other side of the field. Val kick goes out of bound and it will be rail splitter ball. On the right side, we're all knotted up at one. Quick goal a minute into the game from Mikey Rowe. And then 15 minutes in, Mateo Buffalo comes in. Young Harris with a small fiasco at the back. Very dangerous. I believe is a situation that we saw a few times last year, Tommy. That Alex is a little quick, in my opinion, to come off of his line. Uh, when he does, he definitely needs to communicate it better with his defensive line. Yeah, that, that could have been uh, horrendous there. I think, uh, I, th I believe Kevin was looking to play back to Alex, but when he picked his head up to find him, he was right there in front of him, so obviously he couldn't. Ends up almost tripping over him. Fortunately, Young Harris able to move the ball away from the open face of the goal. This will be Danny Fisher in the corner. Keeper gets a punch on it. And Mikey Rowe puts it in from the right side on the rebound. There it is. Mikey with his second on the rebound. Just had a chipper there, two foot away. Got the rebound, sticks it in. Beautiful job that time, Young Harris. Break the play down, John. Well, Danny with the left-footed in swinger. Lincoln Memorial keeper comes out, tries to punch it, unable to get a clear hit to it. It goes over, takes a small flick, goes to the backside. Young Harris is able to play it back across into the mix. Ball's just bouncing around, and Mikey fortunate enough to find himself on the end of it. Was it Gomez from the left side? I couldn't make the number. I believe it was. Two-one now, Young Harris leads. 
Mikey Rowe with his second goal of the, of the game, seventh of the year. Fifth nationally coming into this one. That goal is scored by Young Harris, number nine, Mikey Rowe. His second of the game, seventh of the season. Assisted by number 17, Kevin Koifich. They're giving the assist to Kevin Koifich. Young Harris leads two to one. He must have got a flick on it that I missed after after Gomez put it back in the yeah, mix. Yeah, I'm pretty was sure that, that that Gomez was over on the left side. It was just a wad of humanity down there, but couldn't quite get it. But I'm pretty sure Carlos was in the midst of it. Well, he kept he definitely kept the ball alive in right. a dangerous position. Yes. And Alex will come out with the ball on the left side. Find Val in the middle. And for the first time in this one, I've seen Coach McKeever come out within view. And I tell you what, to me, it's worth the price of admission just to come where we're at and just to, to listen to him communicate. The guy is great. It is, Tommy. I, I enjoy it so very much. I'm fortunate enough I get to listen to it a lot in, during practice as well. So, Alex Jack with an ambitious shot, about 35 out. Sails well wide left. Coming in for Lincoln Memorial, number 21, Joseph Safoy. Joseph Safoy, junior out of Sierra Leone. We'll check in for the rail splitters. Sierra Leone. Small African nation, if I remember correctly. Right. Good aggressive job defensively, James Thomas. Excellent defensive work from James. Hey, and shot coming from the left side. Good job by Iglesias did a very good job. He's unable to hold on to it with wet ball, wet glove, so he does at least push it wide for a corner. Better than letting, letting it slip through his hands into the back of the net. Over on the left sidebar. Good job that time. Great defense by James Thomas. Kick coming out of the corner. We get ahead on it, and Fisher's going to come out with it. Fisher plays up to Don. Young Harris got a chance to rumble here. Takes his man on one-on-one, -on -one, beats him. Looking for Gomez, plays it just a little behind him. A little him. behind him, yep. Looks like uh, Saber getting ready to check in. That's good news for the Mountain Lions. Yeah, it really is. Wasn't really sure. He told me the, uh, yesterday, so I'm just not sure. Well, I saw him come back from the trainer's office while we were in. In the first delay, looked like he received some extra tape, and extra treatment on his leg. Mikey Rowe goes down hard, and that's going to come against Joseph Safoy, the junior midfielder out of Sierra Leone who just had checked in. It's going to be Young Harris Ball. Tommy, I don't believe we keep a stat on the players that draw the most fouls, but I believe if, if we did, Mikey Rowe would be right at the top for the for the Mountain Lions, he works hard and tirelessly to always be on the ball. He creates possession in many dangerous positions, and a lot of times the opposition only has the, the ability to foul him. He is a natural born leader of men. Here is Safoy. Danny Fisher gets in front of the ball. He's going to get a look at shot inside. Great job defensively. Out by Schwinn, yeah. Lincoln's doing a good job of inside-outside play. They're getting they're getting some runners in into the uh, cracks on the back line for the for the Mountain Lions. They're finding themselves in dangerous positions more and more often. 
I'm sure that's something Coach McKeever's going to address at halftime. Shot comes. Val Feeney going to kick out for Young Harris. Hadan goes down hard. And that'll be a, a yellow card issued. Yep, and that's going to be on Safoy. We've called his name constantly ever since he checked in. This is not the time he wanted it called, though. Nope. And Mehdi <laughs> went down really hard. He's still, still laying. Don Sr. out of France. And he's the team barber. He is. He is the team barber. I have heard that as well. And if you'll look, all of our lads have stylish haircuts. They take great pride they in They really do. Except for Macca, I don't think he cuts his. <laughs> into Mac, he's just gonna give it back to Quafik, and he's just trying to control and possess. Well, they're, they're leading the game. They, they can keep pressing, I hope they do, but Lincoln has to come after them for sure now. Right. Unfortunate touch. Sabre looks like he's finally gonna be able to enter the match. And I know he is glad to get out there. Yes, he is. 25 for Lincoln coming in as well. Andrea Cantoni. That is Andrea Cantoni, sophomore out of Tailgate, Italy. Saba Andreas. Saba is replacing Carlos Gomez. Number 10, Felipe de Sousa is the one being replaced for Lincoln. was doing a good job of moving the ball around and then ran into a double team. Unfortunately, Jack takes the ball out of bounds. Yeah, nice work defensively by Rowe and by Alex, but it will be Lincoln Memorial ball. Lincoln trails 2-1. Couple of Mikey Rowe goals. Dangerous cross in. Lincoln able to put the head on it, but puts it well wide of goal. No real danger for Iglesias. goes out of bounds off of Lincoln. It will be Young Harris ball. Lincoln players have got some size to them, Tommy. They really do. I was just looking at that. They got some big guys. Granted, he was up against Val, one of our shorter players, but right. still. They've, they've got some large fellows. Feet coming long to the left side to Jack. He works hard to keep it in bounds. Excellent job of keeping that ball in play. Then draws a late foul. We're approximately 30 minutes into the first half. Young Harris leading 2-1. Two, two Mikey Rowe goals, number six and seven on the year. We had about a 97, 98 minute Lightning delay, our second such of the year. And Harris will work the right side with JT. Now 
coming left side to Alex. Now Mehdi will work the right side. Saber who just checked in with the hitter. A little shove in the back. Lobbying for a call, nothing there. It will be Lincoln Memorial Ball. There wasn't nearly as much there as Saber tried to lead on. quickly in with James Thomas. And Harris earns another foul. Yep. This is that physical play from Lincoln. And Danny Fisher willing to stick his nose in there and and uh, tangle with it, and he's going to benefit from it. Holly King now. Then Harris unable to capitalize. Not a bad ball in from Macca. Unfortunately, no young Harris players there to meet it. All going to go out of bounds off the foot of Danny Fisher. We are 42 minutes in. Substitution for Lincoln Memorial. This is Lucas Stefan Saka, freshman out of Brazil. Young Harrison make a change at the same time. Valfini coming out. Number 12. Alexis Tahate coming in. For the Mountain Lions. Again for Lincoln Memorial to head, five. Transfer for Young Lucas Harris. La, 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 Rochelle, La Rochelle, France. He's a junior, 5'9", 159 pounder. Coming in for Young Harris, number 12. Alexis Taheit. So Taheit in for Young Harris. Stay back, stick. Stay back, there we go. Follow your man. Into his third game. Coach McKeever a little upset there with some of the uh, officiating call or non-call. Meddy gets a break. Hard down the left side. Tries to play a ball in. Fortunate. Stumbles over. Ball stumbles into Lincoln Memorial players' legs and goes out for a young Harris corner kick. Yeah, and they showed some good speed down the field. Had two guys in stride. And an intense conversation going on with young Harris Bench and one of the officials. This is great stuff. You get such a good view of this. It is. And you get such a good ear of this. Indeed. It's incredible. You would almost think that Mr. Moon had already mic'd up the, the coaches and referees. I know, it's right. It's just like we're in the living room with these guys. I'll tell you what, NFL films have got nothing on Mr. Oh, Moon. Oh, man. 
Getting late, first half, Young Harris leading 2-1. Couple of Mikey row goals. Sandwiched in by a goal from Mateo Buffalo. Could be Buffalo, I don't know. I, I would wager since he's from Italy, it's probably Buffalo. Yeah. I got my information from Hayden Sharp. He's from Cartersville. I'm not necessarily sure I would trust his pronunciation. They were trying to buy a foul there. I believe he was again. I'd like him to just stay stronger and stay on his feet personally, but. Oh, Jack goes down hard. Let's see what the call's gonna be here. That's gonna be a yellow card. Yeah, gonna be a yellow card. Do you get the feeling sometimes Young Harris knows their opponent very well and are able to almost instigate uh, this physical play and benefit from it? Instigate, bait. Yeah, the bait. That's choose. a better word, yeah. bait. I like that word better. It just seemed like Alex knew exactly what he was doing there. It's a team they've played the last two years, this third year running that I can think of. And Young Harris earns another penalty kick. Yeah, we got one player down hard. I see Danny Fisher. He's going to get up, but I can't make the player down head covered. He went down hard. That was a melee of bodies on that one. It is. I believe that's going to be Saba. Yeah, is. that's Saba that's down. Yeah, I believe he was the one initially taken down by the Lincoln defender. Yeah, he got, got taken and down and just the, the, the sheer bodies took Danny down behind it, I think. I believe so. How close are we to instant replay, John? Uh, not quite. All right, not so quite. maybe NFL Films has got something on John. But not much. Not much. And this will be Mikey Rowe. Why looking, not? Looking to finish up the hat trick. And, and he, he gets it. that left corner shirt in the mouth. He's happy. Same side as last time, but yeah. instead of going low, he puts it top shelf. And and he could not have put the ball any any higher and it and it make the net. I mean, put it just as high as he could put it. And again, I, I tell you, Tommy, his run up on the penalty kicks is so deceiving for a goalkeeper because he only takes one step and then he's swinging at the ball. Right. That gives the goalkeeper no time to make any kind of decision as to as to if he's going to stutter or try and change directions or any of the such. His third goal of the day, his eighth on the year. That goal is scored by Young Harris, number nine, Mikey Rowe. Fifth his ranked nationally game, coming in. You know he's gonna bump a little. Season. First in the Peach At Bell. Time of 41-17, Young Harris leads three to one. Very, very late in the first half with his in the first half with his third gives Young Harris a two goal lead. You'd have told me before the match that Mikey had a hat trick in the first half, I'll take that any day. Sure. Save it looking to find McCauley, unable to. Harris will look to try and see this first half out. Around two and a half minutes to go. Young Harris is going to have to make sure that they can keep their calm and keep their heads about them for the whole second half. Sure. Poor decision by Mr. Quifik there to hold the ball so long. I mean, we got away with it, but. Medi 
Eddie Hadon with the high pressure. What was the call there, John? I uh, met he was offside. Okay, that's what I thought. Give a young Harris ball. Andreasen looking inside, trying to find McCauley. You get through to Jack on the back. Jack looking inside, Mac too high, way too high. Leaning back way too much on that. I think he was trying to sit in a Barker lounger there. Great look inside from Alex though, wasn't it? Oh, it was. Move with the left foot to go around the defender too. Young Harris feeling some massive surge of confidence at the moment. Again though, these late challenges and little little late flicks of the heels by, by Lincoln, they're gonna look to get under Young Harris' skin and, and try to cause more trouble in the second half. Young Harris is going to have to make sure they One keep their composure. In the not, first half. not give in to such things. Another late lash out from a Lincoln player. Catches his fence right, yeah. right in the shin. Yeah. First half winding down. Young Harris leading by two. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, Zero. John, I thought you was going to catch one. First half comes to an end. Young Harris off the Before power of time, Mikey Rowe. Young Harris three. three goals. Three one. one. John, no observations. Again, uh, Young Harris going to need to keep their composure in the second half. I think this is their match to lose now. I think Lincoln has hurt themselves with some of this physical play. Uh, Young Harris has done a good job of not being retaliatory. I just hope they can continue that in the second half. They should be able to put this one to bed. Okay, 3-1 is your halftime score. We will take a break and be back for the second half. Tommy and John and John with you on the Mountain Line Sports Network, powered by Ridgeline TV, where there is no gherkins. No gherkins.
Welcome back to the YHC Soccer and Lacrosse Field on the campus of Young Harris College. Young Harris College men's soccer. Mountain Lions with the lead over the Lincoln Memorial Rail Splitters. 3-1, three, three goals from Mikey Rowe. Gives him eight on the year his, as a senior from Wexford, Ireland. Uh, his best year was last year with ten. He's got eight, eight, count them, four games in. Comes in fifth ranked nationally in goals. I'm sure he's going to bump up. But right now, Young Harris just wanting to hold off and get their fourth win in a row against a very physical uh, minded team from Lincoln Memorial out of Harrogate, Tennessee. Tommy Jenkins minus John Krieger with you. But John will be here for the first half of the game against uh, women's game against West Florida tomorrow. And hopefully, I'll be here for the second game. We'll know tomorrow. Depends on what my wife says. Young Harris, let's look at some numbers. Caleb Cothran in goal for Lincoln Memorial. Three goals allowed, one save. Alex Iglesias in goal for Young Harris. One goal allowed, one save. Shots by period. Lincoln Memorial with five. Young Harris with seven. Corner kicks, Lincoln Memorial with three. And Young Harris with four. Fouls, 11 on Lincoln Memorial, seven on Young Harris to look at the scoring. Oh, 50, 57 seconds into the game, Mikey Rowe with his sixth goal of the year. Penalty kick uh, at 15-10 into the game for Lincoln Memorial. Mateo Buffalo on an assist by Miguel Reese, his first of the year. 14-foot cross into 16 inside, 14 into 16 inside six yards. 16 tap in at the net. Then at 25-52 to go in the game, Mikey Rowe with his seventh goal of the year with an assist from the freshman Kevin Quafik. Uh, number nine rebound at the right post off of initial shot of 17. A post off a right corner. And then at 41-17 late in the first half, Mikey Rowe with his third goal of the game eighth of the year on a penalty kick gave young harris the three one lead we had a 98 minute lightning delay to start this one and we've got the sun shining but just a little cloud is set right in on top of us and it is raining pretty hard our lads don't mind that but some of the fans are heading to cover the umbrellas have come up Pretty decent little crowd here spinning in and out because we have a lot of lightning strikes here in late August, early September. And uh, crowd's kind of in and out. But it's been a good game. Very physical play. We expected that coming in. And here's coming into this one 3-0. and Today is the first day, 15 minutes in, of the fourth game. First time Young Harris has given up a goal. Um, Lincoln Memorial, who has had good success with Young Harris over the last three years, came into this one 1-0-1. One, oh, one. Young Harris uh, will next be in action on the road this Tuesday at Lee in Cleveland, Tennessee. That's a 7 p.m. game. And then Tuesday the 18th will be at home against Auburn Montgomery, 3.30, and we will have that game here on the Mountain Line. Sports Network powered by Ridgeline TV. Then on the 22nd of September, conference play will start as USC Aiken will come to call in that one. That will be a 4 p.m. start. Aiken, as of right now, is 1-1 one and one on the season. Young Harris, one of two teams undefeated. Uh, Peach Belt teams that are undefeated this far into the season. Young Harris is 3-0. and oh. Lander University, who is the preseason pick, is 2-0. and oh. Action today in the Peach Belt. Lincoln Memorial at Young Harris. Georgia Southwestern at Pensacola Christian. Flagler at Wingate. Tusculum at Lander. Tampa at Clayton State. Catawba at USC Aiken. Anderson at North Georgia. North Georgia yet to win this year. And Francis Marion at Queens. And this Tuesday, Young Harris will be in action at Lee, and Flagler will be in action 
at Florida Tech. Just underway in the second half. Young Harris leads 3-1. Our lads playing good today. Our lads have had a great season. Mehdi Hadan goes down hard, grabs the head, and grabs the right ankle. So we're going to get time out. Macaulay King going to help Mehdi up. He's going to shake the cobwebs off in the ankle, going to run, and he'll get back into it. It's going to be Young Harris Ball. Off the penalty, Macaulay King. Mack will go to the right side. Saber trying to get a header on it. Ball going out of bounds. Lincoln lobbying for a penalty. Nothing there. And it will be Young Harris ball. Fisher to inbound. Danny, 6'1", sophomore out of Austria. Corner kick coming. He'll come with the left foot. Rowe trying to get a header on it. Ball is going to go out of bounds. And it will belong to Lincoln Memorial. Well, we got another tour bus coming in, John C. Could this be West Florida already coming to check the field out? Jack with the ball for Young Harris. Young Harris really putting pressure on the ball with James Thomas. Ball will go out of bounds. It will belong to Lincoln Memorial. They throw in. Diagonal kick over to the right side. And it's going to be Young Harris ball. Feek, long kick downfield. Ball will belong to Lincoln Memorial. Kick coming out of the corner. Fisher will kick the ball out on the left side for Young Harris. Lincoln Memorial will control. Ball goes out of bounds. Alex Jack falls down on the slick turf. And the ball will belong to the rail splitters, one of the great names in college athletics, the rail splitters. Nice header from Kafik, back to Mack. Mack goes down hard, grabs the left ankle. And he'll quickly adjust the equipment. Mike will be up and ready to go. Ball will belong to Young Harris. Big smile from McCauley. Working the left side is Fisher. 
trying to bring the ball inside, tries to turn the corner, pass comes in, nice defensive job by Lincoln Memorial. Alex Tahit, junior out of France, getting extended play in time, came in late in the first half and he remains on the field here in the second half into his third game of the season. Great speed, great hustle by Quafique. Kick out diagonal on the right side, and we're going to get going to get Danny Fisher with the foul. Nope, foul's going to be on Lincoln Memorial. Mac trying to find on Hadani on the right side. Ball is going to go out of bounds. It will belong to Young Harris. James Thomas to inbound. Footwork to Jack out to Thomas on the right side. JT working the right sideline. Goes out of bounds. Ball will belong to Young Harris. So he gets nudged out of bounds. And they'll use, we'll use King to throw the ball in. And Collie looking, he got big Andreas and down in the middle. And he's going to look for him, but they're going to get a header on the ball. And it's going to come back out of bounds. McCauley will do it again. Andreas in 6'3 down there. Got huge, huge wingspan. Sophomore out of Norway. Thomas fighting for the ball. We got a whistle. And the ball's going to belong to the rail splitters. Young Harris leads 3-1. Mikey Rowe, three goals, 6-7-8 and eight on the year. Came into this one fifth nationally. And first in the peach belt, Carlos Gomez is 15th nationally coming to, into this one. Haven't seen Carlos in a while. When he returns, there'll be good fresh legs. Long kick. Thomas with the header. And Harris really pressing with Hadani and Andreasen. And get a little testy out there. Ball is going to belong to the rail splitters. Play will get underway. Thomas really putting pressure on the ball at midfield. They'll work to the right side. Again, row right in the middle of it. Don looking for Andreasen. To give it back to Thomas on the right side. James will come to McCauley. 
Collie, diagonal kick, trying to get Jack over on the left side. Left it just a little short. Nice job stepping in by Safoy. And they'll come, Lincoln will come to the left side with Allen Bernardo. And McKing, got McCauley King. Again, looks like he's cramping up on the right side. Second time, it's actually the third time he went down in the last five minutes. First time he was holding the head and holding the ankle, but it looks to me like he is cramping up. Athletic training staff will get out on the field quickly. And so we have got some time on the field. We'll take a break. Mountain Lion Soccer on the Mountain Lion Sports Network, powered by Ridgeline TV. Quickly back to live action. We're about 14 minutes into this one. Second half, Young Harris leading 3 1. Three Mikey Rowe goals, two off of penalty kicks, one off of a rebound off a shot from Kevin Kafik. One goal from the rail splitters. came from Matteo Brufalo. Falfini getting ready to re-enter the contest for Young Harris. Young Harris controls the ball with Kafik. Kevin will find to heat. Young Harrison really getting hit hard and holding the right knee. Is Andreason. Wasn't really sure if Sable was going to be able to go today. Coach McKeever trying to get Feeney in for Andreas and in an upset that he couldn't get the substitution as the ball was dead. Thomas gives it back to Schfind and they'll go back to Iglesias. And he will put the ball in play on the right side. Hadani and they're gonna get him with a foul. And it will be Lincoln Memorial Ball getting testy out here. Been a very physical contest. We were told it would be. It has been. And Young Harris again, a player down. And I think this Schwind. He gets up and walks it off. He'll be okay. Harris leads 3-1. Young Harris women in action tomorrow against West Florida. Noon tip. We'll have noon start. We'll have that here on the Mountain Lion Sports Network. John Krieger will have the call on that one. West Florida, number five team in the nation. Young Harris, 1-1 one one on the season. Won the last time out against this Lincoln Memorial. A couple of goals for Bailey Roche. Harris, Hadani over on the left side to Jack. Gonna bring it back to Fisher. And they'll reverse the ball to Spin. He's working the right side, now looks to get to the middle. Changes direction, tries to feed Thomas. Thomas on the right side, kick coming. Trying to find Andreas and good job stepping in by Willemson, senior out of the Netherlands.
Our lads lead 3-1. Looking to go 4-0 on the young season. Peach Belt action gets underway in two weeks as USC Aiken will come to call. Aiken 1-1 one one on the season. And they're one of the few teams not playing. Nope, they're hosting Catawba. 7 o'clock start tonight. Andreas and trying to get the header ball too tall. Goes out of bounds. It will belong to the nail rail splitters. Val Feeney going to get in. Carlos Gomez getting ready to check in likewise. Lincoln Memorial ball. Player goes down. Feeney, who just checked in, comes out with the ball, working the left side, trying to feed Andreas and gets it to him. Trying to get the ball out. Coming in for Young Harris, number eight, Val Feeney. Jack quickly down the field on the left side, looking to make a pass. Comes across. Nobody there. Ball will go out of bounds and it will belong to Lincoln. Gomez will come in. Tahit will come out. Extended play in time in for Tahit. Number 11, Carlo Gomez. Tahit Jr. out of France. Got some good minutes. Gomez back in, fresh legs. He's been out a while. Second leading score for the Mountain Lions with four goals coming in, 15th nationally. Young Harris, who leads 3-1 off of three Mikey Rowe goals. No score in here in the second half. Young Harris doing a good job controlling the ball here. Not getting caught up in the physicality and making mental errors. Fisher, long pass, trying to get it down to Hadan. Nothing there. Off of Feeney, Gomez. Jack will play it off the chest. And Young Harris will reverse back. Coming to Thomas, nifty pass in between two defenders over on the left side to Feeney. Val coming down the left side, trying to find Jack. Jack approaching the goal, looking to pass inside. Ball knocked out by Lincoln Memorial. Fisher will come right back, and Young Harris will attack again. A little push behind. On Jack, Memorial with the ball. Rowe pressing on the defensive end. Great job defensively. Young Harris jumping the ball on the sideline with a double team. Ball kicked high. I thought you were going to get another one, John. It went over the top of us. And it will be Lincoln ball. Fisher, a long kick out on the left side. Lincoln Memorial, Kafik with the header, kick out to Hadan. And the ball will belong to Lincoln Memorial. Andreas and putting on the defensive pressure. Long kick. Kafik going to run it down for the Mountain Lions. 
He'll get it to Iglesias. He will roll it to Fisher on the left side. Young Harris will hit the road Tuesday against Lee over in Cleveland, Tennessee. Get to make the journey through the old Coy Gorge. And Mountain Lions will be in action on Tuesday, Auburn Montgomery here at the YHC Soccer and Lacrosse Field. That's a 3.30 start, so we'll be having that game on the Mountain Lions Sports Network. Lincoln Memorial Ball. Thomas steps up with the steal. It's going to go off the foot of Val Feeney. And the ball will belong to the rail splitters. Midway through the second half, Young Harris leads 3-1. On the left side, looking to throw in. Thomas, great job defensively. Good work together by Thomas and Rowe. Ball will go hard off of the chest of Edwin Voss. The ball will belong to our lads. Quickly inside, Fisher to Hadan. Andreasen looking to attack, trying to split a defender, gets the ball over the left side. Jack going to run it down. Coming into Andreasen, nearly knocked out of the way. Andreasen got a good look, beautiful pass. Jack comes out with the ball, steals it over on the sideline, looking to the middle to Feeney. Val will give it up to Thomas. Val coming to Gomez on the right side. Kick come in a little too high, looking for the header off of Andreasen though. Jack gets the ball, working the left side. Alex, nifty footwork, able to control. And ball is going to belong to Lincoln Memorial. Substitution getting ready to come in for the rail splitters. It's going to be Julio Nato. Junior out of Brazil. Nice job defensively as Nito will come in. And Seglio, another freshman out of Brazil, will come out. 3-1, Young Harris. Big day for Mikey Rowe. Young Harris gives up its first goal of the year in game four. 15 minutes in, took... Took three full games and better part of a close of half of a half, about a quarter in to the fourth game before Young Harris gives up a goal. And a goal for 
the rail splitters. Cut it to one. So we have a we have a tough one here. Still a lot of time. We're about 23 minutes in to the second half. Actually, more like 28 minutes in, I believe. The goal is scored by Lincoln Memorial number three, Alan Brandau, first of the season at a time of 72-17. That was Brandau, 72-17. So about 18 minutes to play. Young Harris leads 3-2. Very much a battle here. This has been a physical contest from the very beginning. sense with Lincoln Memorial. They're really picking up the intensity right now. Thomas looking long to Andreas and nice job defensively. There's Lincoln saying Kofit got it with the hands, but I don't think he ever did. Officials don't think so. That's all that matters. It's going to be Young Harris ball. This is a team Young Harris has had a tough time with. We've lost a couple to these guys over the last few years. They're 1-0 and 1 coming in. Young Harris 3-0, and but right now it's anybody's game. Young Harris yet to score here in this second half. Still a lot of time. Fifteen forty to go in this one. Long pass in from Rowe. Andreasen with the header trying to get it to Gomez. Good job by the goalkeeper. In goal today is Caleb Cothran, a senior out of Lubbock, Texas. Hometown of Buddy Holly, right? Yeah. Corner kick coming from Fisher. Feeney looking inside. Young Harris had a look. Young Harris, though, will retain possession. We'll come back to the right side to Fisher. He's going to look inside. Roll can't get it. Great save by Cothran. Got it up at the top of the crossbar, able to knock it, but a good pass from Fisher inside to Rowe, just couldn't quite finish the deal. Great job by the goalkeeper, Cothran. And we've got a rail splitter player down. This is Wesley Silva out of Brazil. Out of Rio de Janeiro. Cothran, that was a great save. Hadan comes out. Coming in for Lincoln Memorial number six, Guillermo Suarez. Suarez in for Young Harris. Sandre Olsen. Sandre Olsen getting his first action. Freshman out of Norway.
passing Young Harris off the chest of Andreas. Going to get for Lincoln Memorial. Number 25, Andreas. Bring him back to Olsen, who just checked in. Catherine kicks out. Lincoln Memorial ball. And good work by Alex Schwind. Freshman out of Munich, Germany. And it's gonna be Young Harris ball. About a 98 minute lightning delay, but we've had decent skies. Had some rain, had a couple little pop up showers, but has significantly cooled off since the beginning of the game. Very hot and humid, much more comfortable now. I'm sure it's hot down on that AstroTurf. Lights are on, they've been on for some time. Long kick out for Kafik. Header off of Andreasen. Nifty footwork by Gomez, but they're going to say the ball belongs to the rail splitters. Jack out to Gomez, a little bit too high for him. Big guys, a lot of 6'3 guys on this Lincoln Memorial team. Rowe kicks the ball out of bounds, goes down hard, bounces right back up. He's always in the middle of action. He is a natural leader of men. Throwing in from the side. And Jack. Get the ball down the field, clear out. Ball coming right back. And the Lincoln bench is furious right now. A couple of players got tied up. Kafik and a player from Lincoln Memorial. And it is getting exciting down here right now. James Thomas exhorting his player, his lad zone. It's getting late in the game. How much time left, John? About 10 minutes. We think if you're wondering why we don't know, we can't see. We're not at a good angle, and there's a big, 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 big pole in front of us. So that's why. get the foul on Kafik. They don't really know what happened down by the goal, but something did. I just don't think the guys saw it. Ball goes out of bounds. It's going to belong to Young Harris. Glacis will kick out. And Andreasen going to be a foul against Lincoln Memorial. 3-2 your score. Young Harris, three goals in the first from Mikey Rowe. We have yet to score 
in this second half. One goal in the first half for Lincoln Memorial. And a second one here. And Young Harris fighting and clawing to keep its undefeated season going. Looking inside off the head of Andreasen. Fisher with the header out to row. Ball's going to go out of bounds. Two players down. Fight for the loose ball. Ball is going to belong to Young Harris. Fisher will throw in. Not seen Macaulay King in a while. Young Harris player goes down hard. That's Olson. Mac looked like he was having some trouble earlier with leg cramps. Saw the trainer come in. I don't believe we have seen him since. Not sure if it was leg cramps, but he went down three times in a span of about six or seven minutes. So Young Harris having to go it here with the game on the line without its Preseason Peach Belt player. Andreasen, header, goal shot comes. It's good, stays with it. Olsen knocks it in, stays with it off the second rebound. And Young Harris has got its two goal lead. And what a big shot for the freshman. Sandre Olsen, freshman out of Tromso, Norway, stays with it, brings it home. And Young Harris leads 4-2. Coming in for Lincoln Memorial, number nine, Victor Perez. Victor Perez, senior out of Brasilia. Brazil, that's the capital city. So Young Harris now with the two goal lead. We're getting late. How much? 7.55, just inside of eight minutes. Let's get the exchange of what happened down there. In just a minute, Hayden will give it to us. Olsen, excuse me, Andreas and coming to the sideline. And they're going to have to go and get a stub. Look like the hand bleeding, not sure. This is going to get another Coming freshman. Yesen Vanderplum, freshman out of Rotterdam, the Netherlands. That goal is scored by Young Harris, number 19, Sandre Olsen. So Olsen with the it's goal. Assisted by number 11, Carlos Gomez. Carlos Gomez with the assist. Young Harris leads four to two. So Olsen's first goal of the season. That is Gomez's third assist of the season. That is game high for the Mountain Lions. Gomez came in 14th in the nation and third in the Peach Belt in assist. So Young Harris just now play smart, play some good D. Protect the goal. This is Kafik. And going to be a penalty. I think it's going to be against Lincoln Memorial. Look like Jack got shoved in the back on that one. I think the ball's going to belong to Young Harris. And this will be Danny Fisher. Coming right side to Thomas. James will work the ball to Vanderplum, who just came in, just checked in. Ball goes out of bounds. It will belong to rail splitters. Thomas with the header. It's getting testy, guys. Hey, 
That was a great goal from Olsen. Wow. That was stellar. First goal of a probably, I'm sure, be a promising career. Young man out of Norway. Vanderplum. I'm going to get the foul. And the ball is going to belong to Lincoln Memorial. Getting late in this one. Young Harris with that two goal lead. Having to do it without Macaulay King and doing it right now without Saba Andreasen. They've had some guys really have stepped up today, one of them being Olsen. Tahit came in and gave us some good quality minutes. Gave Carlos, Carlos Gomez a nice long break. Gomez has really come out with fresh legs and has really played with a lot of intensity. Shotgun's going to be wide right at the sidebar. And they're going to get a corner kick coming. Young Harris get his defensive set. Comes in, header, nice header back from Olsen. Out to Jack. Jack got a little break going. Ball's going to go out of bounds. Four forty six to go in this one. Feet gonna kick it out of bounds. Ball will belong to the rail splitters. And here's clinging to this two goal lead. Got a little cushion to work with. Settling back, playing smart defensively. Doing it with some of our younger lads today. Shot coming, nice header from Fisher. Gomez is going to put pressure on the ball. It's on the left side. James Thomas will step out. Valfinia applying the pressure, and they're having to bring the ball back to the other side of the field while the clock ticks. Very much in favor of Young Harris right now. Olsen pressuring the ball. Got a young Harris player down. And that looks like Mikey Rowe. Left leg extend. Again, looks like a cramp. Curious to find out what happened to Mac. But it looked like Mike, Mikey dealing with a little cramp. Working the left leg gingerly, but he's going to stay in. 3.34 to go. In the game, Young Harris leads four, two, three goals from Mikey Rowe, six, seven, eight in the year. One for Sandre Olsen, his first of the year. Coming in for Young Harris, number 10, Mehdi Hadan. Mehdi Hadan, little fresh legs coming back in. James Thomas going to track the pass in from the side, trying to find somebody open on the left side. James wisely just kicks it out of bounds, keeps the clock ticking. Corner kick coming. 
Header and Hadani who just checked in off the chest, trying to bring it down the right side. Goes out of bounds off of Young Harris. Lincoln will get it back in. Thomas, good defensive pressure. Again, the ball goes out. Our lads playing very smart right now. Ball comes in, Olsen off his head to Hadan. Thomas Olsen back to Feeney. Olsen off the chest. Val Feeney now over to Jack on the left side. Alex loses the ball, but Hadan steps in. Nice job. Good job getting back by Schfind. And it's getting late in this one. Young Harris on the verge of being 4-0 in the young season. We'll hit the road over at Lee Tuesday. And then we'll be back at home the following Tuesday. And if we can just control the ball and the clock here for just a couple of more minutes, right, John? Just over a minute. Just over a Kick coming from the corner. And we get ahead on it. Ball goes out of bounds. Another substitution for Young Harris. Axel Dunstrom. This is Axel Dunstrom, freshman out of Stockholm, Sweden. Hometown of Sarah Jorgensen, great Young Harris women's basketball player. Alex Jack will come out, great game for him. One minute remaining. One minute remaining. And going to be a yellow card, and it is getting testy crazy out there. Got a young Harris player down. That is Val Feeney. Val so calm out there. He's just, just completely under control all the time. Hadan going to help him up. 48 seconds to go, young Harris 4-2. James Thomas with the kick. Brings it over to the left the side to Olson. It's going to go out of bounds. Feeney to Thomas. James will try to control on the right side. And kicks the ball out of bounds behind the goal. Nine, We're counting down eight, from 10. Seven, so with this one, six, Young Harris will five, go for and oh, four, We give three, up our first goals three, of the year, but one, we win by two zero. over a good Lincoln Memorial team that has been a hard victory for us. Three goals, a big story. Mikey Rowe, three goals, goals number six, seven, and eight in the first You're half, 3-1 at halftime. Lincoln Memorial was able to cut it to one, but Sandre Olsen, a freshman out of Norway, comes in with the first goal of the season in his young career. And Young Harris will go to 4-0 and oh on the young season. 
Game started out with a 98-minute lightning strike. I'm estimating that. But then Mikey Rowe, once we got started, took over in the first half. Great job defensively by our lads in the second half. And we pick up our fourth win of the season. Up next for Young Harris, Tuesday at Lee. That's a 7 p.m. start. And you can check, get that on there on their website. And our next home game will be September 18th. That's a Tuesday when Auburn Montgomery comes to call. That's a 3.30 start. Peach Bell action will begin September 22nd here at the YHC Soccer and Lacrosse Field when USC Aiken comes to call. That is a 4 p.m. start. Our women will be in action tomorrow at noon when the fifth-ranked team in the nation, West Florida, comes to call then and that will be john will be picking that one up john krieger will be doing the call on that one hopefully i'll be here by the second hat after that our jv team will get into action so on a winning day young harris fifth ranked in the nation coming in picks up its fourth win of the season remains undefeated mikey rowe six seven goal six seven and eight on the season it's going to push him up toward the national lead Tommy Jenkins and John Kruger with you on a winning afternoon from the YHC Soccer and Lacrosse Field on the Mountain Line Sports Network powered by Ridgeline TV where there is absolutely never no gherkins. We will see you tomorrow at noon.